Recently, I did a video on the Zoom um, Forged 8 inch chef's knife by Mercer Culinary. Today, we're going to be taking a look at its little brother, the three and a half inch pairing. Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, JPM.Cuisine. Today for you, we're gonna be checking out this little guy, the three and a half inch pairing by Mercer Culinary of the Zoom line. It's the matching pairing knife to the uh, Zoom Chef knife with the exact same style handle, uh, sort of a, a triangle style handle with a rounded um, end. But it's that Delrin handle, it's a full tang, uh, a little bit flat. This is more of a uh, artistic style handle compared to the regular contour that you see. Uh, it's more of a classic style. Um, it's an X50 CRMOV15 um, still, I think it's the same still that they use in the other knives as well, um, which keeps it consistent. So the behavior of the steel is going to be the same. Uh, you should expect the same life on the edge and sharpening uh, characteristics as well, um, but just in a smaller size. So let's take a potato and we'll go ahead and, and get to the tournée. Now, typically, if, if you haven't done it before, you want to make sure that you square off the edges on your potato. And they want to be parallel. This one's not that good. Let's go ahead and cut this again. It's a little bit easier with a with a chef's knife. That one will work. And then you're gonna just round off your potato. And we're not gonna square it off. We're gonna we're gonna round it off. So as we peel it, this is gonna help us to um, identify which side we want to work with first. These are gonna be a larger 20, so don't worry about that. Okay, so we would start with the thinnest side. That's gonna give us the easiest cut. I'm gonna put our middle, our forefinger right in the center. Pinky's gonna go on the edge, but it's gonna get out of the way once we put our other thumb there. So we're gonna choke up on our knife, okay? Just gonna pinch it like that. The first cut's the largest, so we just twist and turn and we just cut that out. Now I have a flat edge here. That's two. Again. Three. Oh, that one wasn't very clean. Four. Five. And you can clean these up later. Six. Okay, so we have the seventh edge. Do one little clean cut here. Uh, we have some garlic here. And I can always move the butt. A lot of times with garlic, you might have to remove the center. There might be a, uh, a bud growing. In this case, we're fine. But the bud is gonna be very bitter. And then, we don't usually use it like this, but you can because the thing about the paring knife is that you have a very fine point. So you can do some very fine, thin, razor sharp cuts so if you're making a, a dish that requires thin sliced uh, or shaved uh, garlic this is what you're going to be using this knife for um, you can try it with the chef's knife but when it's a smaller uh, item that you're trying to cut this is going to give you a little bit more control we have a shallot here and i've done this before but with the with the paring knife when you're trying to cut a shallot and you want to do a fine dice on a shallot for a sauce or for something, it's a little bit harder with a uh, chef's knife because of the size. But with a paring knife, it almost mimics the exact same action. So it's just on a smaller scale. Um, but man, it feels really good in the hand. It's the same steel as the other knife. Um, it's got the same sharpness um, and it should last you a long time as long as you don't lose it well that's been this quick look at the zoom line 
uh, by Mercer Culinary of the three and a half inch pairing. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.